I'm vlogging, it's boring, I'm clean. That makes me hypocrite. Good afternoon, good afternoon. My sister's here. She's coloring with Flynn. She's not? <laughs> anyway, Rachel decided to come visit, which I'm so happy about, because she's the coolest. Basketball. basketball, you wanna play basketball? Is that what that means? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's saying basketball. So I guess we're playing basketball and making some chicken nuggets. The Lakers play? The Lakers play. Oh! Mm, sports. Hello, so I just uploaded the vlog for today. I'm feeling very sleepy today. This weather is so weird, guys. It's like smoky, fire, burn weather. Like, Rachel came over and we were both just like, we're so bored, because we're already quarantined. LA is so bad, like, with the pandemic. Like, we've always had really high numbers, and it's not safe to go places and do stuff like it is in a lot of other places in the world. So it's already, we can't go anywhere and do anything, but at least we could play outside, you know? Like, Flynn could play in the backyard in his sand pit with his toys, we could go on walks. And now, it's toxic air outside, so like, you're literally trapped in your house so that's really fun but it was really nice hanging out with rachel and uh see her and now um i'm done uploading my vlog so i'm gonna go play with my boys let's go whoa what's this oh my god that's so cute <laughs> Yeah. Do you, need a car? Do you need me to get a car? Yeah. Okay, I'll go get a car. One, two, three. Whoa! Whoa! One, two, three. Whoa! Whoa! Crash, crash is a finish line. any of it, but I made chicken Alfredo, which I've never made before, and some broccoli, and Eric made garlic bread, and we're gonna eat some dinner, and we're gonna watch probably some show about murder. Come on. Come on. Okay guys, so I just did a TikTok trying on, I got a bunch of new bangs. I got a bunch of new bangs in the mail. You guys saw a few days ago I got some bangs, but I got new ones, and I just tried them on for TikTok, but I only tried them on for like two seconds at a time, so I'm gonna do it again for you right now. Not the bang! So these I think are very similar to the ones I already, <laughs> oh no. They're very similar to the ones I already got, but they're like, ew, they're like slimier or something. Like they look more greasy, so not good. Let's try the next pair. So I have another bang on a head bang. Headband, not head bang. These smell really bad. These are so thick. <laughs> that is not. Oh my God, they're so thick. They remind me of this one girl in like every 90s movie. There's this red-headed girl that was in every 90s childhood movie. I don't know why, I don't, yeah, I can't even tell you what movie she's been in, but like, I feel like I can see her in my brain and she had really thick bangs like this. Anyway, let's do the next one. We have these, which have like these, like, I'm sure I'm supposed to straighten them, but who has the time? So when I tried these on for TikTok, I thought this one was really funny because of how they, jet out like that. And these I feel like could be cute, like in some land, in some world, somewhere. Okay, I'm wrong. <laughs> oh no, they're just, I just shouldn't wear bangs, guys. Like, I, you guys were right, I was wrong. Bangs are not it, they're just not it. I don't look good in bangs. You're right, I'm wrong, I shouldn't have bangs. I just want them, and I don't know why. I'm not giving up hope, but like, as of right now, I'm saying you're right and I'm wrong, all right? Okay. So I'm just sitting here at one in the morning going through a million old journals. I love doing this. I've always journaled since I was a little girl. I have a million journals from a million different moments of my life. And I like to go back and like look at stuff and reflect and whatever. So there's stuff like prayer journals from college, like journals from different times. Like this is like my first bus tour. This is from the year 2012. Like I wanted to read you some of this stuff cause I think it's interesting, but maybe it's not. But this is from when I went to Paris, see? So there's me in Paris. And I wanted to read you guys what I wrote that day because it still is true. And this is from 2012. I just spent the week in London and it was one of the most amazing experiences I've ever had. The audiences of my five shows were incredible. I had two small appearances and three big performances at Leicester Square Theatre. I used to always perform there. Everything was sold out and the audiences made me feel loved and welcome. There have been so many moments where I just sit and tear up at the thought of this week. So many amazing moments with fans. I don't feel worthy of all the love and adoration they show me. I've never been more grateful in my life. I 
don't deserve the praise. I just hope the fans understand how much I care about them. I love them like family. I'm so grateful. And then I wrote about going to Paris and how amazing it was. I just love going back and like, like this is from the American Music Awards. Lance Bass asked me to come like host and there's like pictures of me with a bunch of, like, these are some of the Backstreet Boys I interviewed. There's just like a bunch of random pictures of me with random people at the American Music Awards. I love to journal. Lots of pictures of me with like fans, like fan photos from different performances. I print everything, I keep everything. This is Alex Newell and me and so funny. Amazing fan art. So there's that. But I also wanted to read you this I thought was interesting. This is from my trip to, I think this is Germany? This is my um, England trip. I went to Liverpool. See, look how random I am. I'm like, this is the card from the restaurant. We had dinner and this is us playing Uno. That's my mom, me and my tour manager Lee playing Uno and my mom and my old tour manager Suzanne with Lee playing Uno. But I said, Liverpool, we spent our day off today in Liverpool. We drove four hours, picked up Lee's wife, Emma. First we went to the Speck Hall. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm sorry if I'm saying it wrong. It's S-P-E-K-E. -E. Speck Hall, which was awesome. We learned so much there, but my favorite fact is about bridal bouquets. I don't remember this, but reading this today, I was like, I'm so glad I wrote this down. Back in the day, everyone was afraid of catching the plague, which was transferred through fleas. Everyone figured out that fleas would stay away from you if you smelled like pee and poo. So everyone hung their clothes above their toilets and literally everybody smelled like poo and pee 24 seven. When women started dating a boy, they carried around the flowers to hide the nasty smell. Once they signed on the dotted line and got married, they would toss the bouquet behind them to the next girl looking for a suitor. That's where the tradition comes from. Isn't that cool? I love that. I love that I wrote that down like because I forgot it like from visiting that museum that we went to I didn't remember that obviously, but since I wrote it down now I remember it Yeah, I just love looking through everything and I always put like like I always made little pockets in my journals with fan letters That I got from people at the shows. I do this in all my journals But I also wanted to go through like they're all the same too like the way I wrote in that one from 2012 I've been writing about my shows and how I feel about performing live and my my fans like it's never changed like I still write that way about it today but anyway this is from my first book tour slash bus tour ever I loved this I put this in it's a sweet card from a mom I got at the show last night this is Colleen I just want to thank you for all that you've done for my daughter Hannah she's 11 and started middle school middle school last year she also has huge anxiety issues I can relate girl your YouTube channels have paved the way to helping me be able to relate to her we laugh all the time about Miranda we are fish Murfandas. I'm surprising her in Columbus to see your show. She's going to go crazy. Thank you for giving me a way to be able to talk openly to Hannah. Anyway, I just thought that was a really sweet card. Here's a letter from Ben Stiller because Ben Stiller's daughter used to be a fan. I don't know if she's anymore, but Ben Stiller gave me a card and I glued it in here because he came to the show with his wife, Christine Taylor, who's amazing. They're both amazing. They're both so sweet. And so they gave me a card and a gift, which was super nice. I put the card in here. There's like pictures of me with like my family on the bus. Look how little they are. Look at those baby JQ, they're so tiny. They actually like rented vans and like followed my bus around a lot of the country on this tour. My mom has been uh, on tour a lot with me on her birthdays. <laughs> this year she was not. Um, she probably would have been if I could have toured this year because I would have gone bananas touring because I love touring. And she, I feel like she's always on tour with me when it's her birthday. Anyway, um, I love going through those old journals. I don't know if that's interesting to you guys, but it's really interesting to me to go back and read through them and like read about my adventures that I went on and, and how like that passion and excitement and happiness that I feel when I'm performing, the gratefulness that I feel for you guys and how much you support me and how it still like blows me away and is like shocking when I realize that anyone like supports me at all. Like it's, I will never get used to that. I don't think um, it will always like make me feel really grateful and like happy. So I love going through all those journals. That was fun for me tonight. And um, I'm gonna try to go to bed because tomorrow we have a big day of absolutely nothing. So I need to make sure I get my rest so that tomorrow I can do literally nothing. See you tomorrow.